Hey guys, I'm going to take you through a functional movement training class. It's going to be 30 minutes and it's everything that you can do from home. So we're going to start with the warm up and then we're going to do some lower body, some upper body and then some core. We've got three rounds of three rounds of each phase. So we've got three exercises lower body, three exercises upper body, three exercises core, and um, we're going to do that for 45 seconds and have 15 seconds break between. Okay, so mainly strength, um, nice long working phases, and a little bit more recovery. Also at the end, we've got a quick cardio blast um, ladder to finish us off before we stretch. Right, so we're going to get warm. I'm going to get some music going so we get some energy into our bodies. Um, and then we'll head straight into the circuit. Here we go. Alright, hopefully that's nice and clear. Oh. Really good if I turn on the microphone, that's even clearer. Alright, so to warm up, we're just going to do some squats. So here we go. So sit the butt down, push the knees forward, keep the chest lifted. That's so just getting the joints nice and mobile. Nice core locked on. Just like 30 seconds of each. Right, check this out. We're going to add a heel lift. The squat heel lift. It's fun to get some calves involved. Pulling up tightly through the back of the legs. Squeezing the butt. Okay, just a couple more. Well done. All right, take your arms and legs wide. We're going to do some windmills. All right, so coming up in the middle, keeping your legs straight. Just turning through the chest, reaching down towards the ankle. Getting nice and mobile for our spine. Getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs. Then so as you reach down, reach the other arm upwards. Awesome, let's do some lunges. So step forward, lunge, and then twist towards that front leg. Step that other leg. So lunge and twist. We're actually getting our minds ready as well as some coordination. Nice and low. 
push your knees forward and then drive your knee up to head height. Maybe about 45 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds goes by so quickly. It's going to give us the opportunity to start feeling fatigued in the muscles. And so when we push through the fatigue, that's when we get stronger, better, right? Five seconds. And relax. All right, 15 seconds break. So the next one's up here, the lunge. Just start with your feet hip width. And then you're going to skip one leg back, kind of in a cross position, and then keep both of your knees evenly. Here we go. Three, two, one, 45 seconds. Nice and deep. Step up, change sides. Step. So again, we're glancing down, check the knees, tracking the lines of the toes. The back heel is lifted. And then always stand strong through your core. Keeping your cheeks nice and high. So I keep going, guys. We have 20 seconds left. Keep going. Okay, nine seconds. Last one. And relax. Okay, so we've got that single leg deadlift. So as I said, opposite hands to the leg, you can grab a plate or weight of some sort. We're going to be tipping over, bending one knee, hinging from hips, kicking the other leg behind. Here we go. The other arm can be out for balance. Standing up. Tipping over. Standing up. We're trying to keep our hips nice and square. And when we are tipping over, we are actually bending that knee. All right, so the standing leg, the working leg, okay, get a bit stretched behind, tightening up to stand, squeeze the butt. The other leg, heel pushes away, toes pointing downwards to help to square your hips. Hit nine seconds. So importantly, we're the back of the legs, not just the front of the legs, eh? All right. Ten and relax. Alright, we know all the exercises now. So round two, and push a little bit harder. Here we go. Squat knee lift. I'm gonna offer a squat kick. Here we go. So squat knee lift is option one. Squat knee lift. Squat kick is option two. Yeah, kick me through your screen. And then so shifting the weight across driving the heel away and also driving out of the heel that's on the ground okay so when you drive upwards you're also getting a lot of good contraction move and heart right up 15 seconds okay for the last few seconds let's speed up let's go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two and one. Woo! Okay, 15 seconds rest. Don't do that curtsy lunge. Okay, so sit up first, ready to shift the weight, and step the leg behind. Three seconds. Two, one. Arms out can be for balance. Step out, drop down. a different way of working the lunge, definitely getting more into the core and I can feel a big through the butt as you stand up. So big push through the front leg to stand. Alright, 20 seconds. How are we feeling? Yeah. Your legs should feel pretty good. <laughs> good is a nice word, isn't it? Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Okay, a little bit quicker as you can. Without compromising. Good form. Last one. And stop. Alright, single leg deep lift. So we're switching legs, aren't we? Okay. Remember that tipping, nose over the toes, hips square, drive the heel away. In four, three, two, one. Here we go. And if you are feeling a bit wobbly like I am today, try this glance down in front of you, keeping your head, eyes nice and steady. Oh, 
How good are you? 25 seconds. A bit more focus on the upward motion. So squeeze your butt stand. Chest lifts. 10 seconds. Come on. A little bit quicker if you feel steady. Three, two, a bit one more in. One. All right, relax. Okay, so we're going to do that one more time. When we come to the single leg deadlifts, we're actually going to switch side to side. Okay, so squat knee, alternating, or squat kick. Three, two, one, let's go. Go, go, go. And because it's the last round, this will become some speed. Go. Not slowing down at all. Work really hard through the work phase so that we can recover lots in that 15 seconds. Okay, heart rate spikes, drop it down. That's high intensity interval training. Great for fitness, great for our metabolism, of course, with the strength work, cool for our legs, and eventually upper body and core. All right, four seconds. Three, two, one. Hit that one at the park, yeah. Ooh, okay, let's see lunge coming. Reset. So a bit more speed, as long as you don't compromise form, keep your hips square, get low, dry out of the legs. Two, one, let's go. Oh, silence. Very silence. All right. All right, new music gives us a bit more energy. Is smiling out there with me. Come on, I'm working hard, make sure you're working hard too. Maybe you're just not sitting and watching. Alright, here we go. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job. Alright, last one. So, more stabilizing work as we shift from one single leg to the other side. So that weight has to shift has to come without the hips moving. You ready? Three, two, one. So to over, stand up, keep your hips, other side. Think about leaving with the chest, nose comes right forward. And really tense through the back leg. Your push is right behind you. Okay, 20 seconds. Always feel by the second or third round. The coordination is there. But we'll stay away. Alright, seven seconds. Two. One. Good job. Alright. So we're going to have a little bit of a longer rest, one minute rest, and we're going to head into some other little stuff. So I'm going to jump up to the stage so you can see me better. So the first one, we're going to go with the plank row kick back. So we're from knees or toes. So if you're from knees, make sure hands underneath your shoulders. You're going to lift your arm, kick back, and bring it down, other side. Okay, so getting lots of core and shoulders as well. Of course, you've got the option to do it on your toes. All right, second exercise, back extension. Coming onto your belly, squeeze your butt, lift your chest up, up, squeezing your butt, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then you've got push-ups. Okay, so the first round is push-ups right down the middle, knees or toes. Okay, here we go. Five seconds, row kick back. Plank position. Three, two, one. Here we go. Change sides. All right, so I've got some tips here for you. Each time, you want to make sure your hand is on the shoulder, like I said before, and make sure that happens each time so we're not twisting. Push through the hand that's on the ground. Brace your abs, of course, to keep your hips still. And especially if you're on your toes, just squeeze your butt super, super hard. Tensing your thighs, pushing your heels away. 
Now I'm going to kick back on the row, elbow lifts really high, and then kick back and squeeze the tricep, then keep the elbow high, and then run it down. Your shoulder blades should be rolling in towards your spine. All right, here we go, 15 seconds, we back. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax. Yeah, this one we can chill on the ground. All right, so to sit up, bring your feet together, squeeze your butt and your inner thighs, open your arms out. Four seconds. Here we go, back extension, chin down, up we go. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So the power is coming from your butt, okay? Then drive the chest off the ground, squeeze the shoulder blades, arms wide. If you need a bit of support, your fingers can actually remain on the ground, okay? Then tuck your chin in to keep your knees really long. All right, 20 seconds. Come on, guys. Up, down. Can you make your arms any wider? Really strong. Tense them. Reach them out. Five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. All right, push up time. So we've got the kneeling option. So hands just wide at the shoulders. Now the elbows don't go out wide, they go slightly back, but not tucking in, all right? So option one, knees, kneeling, four, toes. Here we go, here we go. Push them out, 45 seconds. So can you see that alignment that I've got here? It's not out of line with shoulders, it's slightly back, and that's a good pushing position. So if you're going to push your jaw, this is the position where I push from here, elbows are down, okay? All right, 25 seconds. Kneeling option, right here. Bring your chest between your hands. 15 seconds, who's on their toes? Who's there? Come on, come on, 10 seconds. A great option is to come down, Drop your knees and push up. That's an in-between option. It's gonna be strong. Stop. All right. Round two. Repeat. So we're gonna go with this plank rows, kick back. Never alone. We're doing this together. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. So row, kick back. Reset. How still can you keep your hips and your shoulders? Your eye line is just along your top of your fingers, so your neck is nice and long. And really kick back with the purpose to feel that squeeze through your tricep. Okay, if that's too much for shoulders, bring your knees under your hips and work the row from here. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one. Well done, lie down. Okay, for our last round for that one, if you do have an object that you can use, a light plank with can beans, okay? Just something to add a bit more intensity. All right, back extension, let's go. Up and down. Okay, for a little bit more, turn your thumbs up and reach it back slightly. How's that feel? I feel a little deeper squeeze through my shoulder blades. I like it. All right, 25 seconds. Are you still squeezing your butt? Are your legs still together? I know they like to sneak apart, don't they? 15 seconds. Remember, you can put your fingers down, wide all behind you. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. All right, push up time. So adding on for this round, if you want to do a walking push up. So we're going to do a walk in the middle. So check it out. Start with your hands underneath your shoulders. Step up wide. Here we go. So push up, step in, step out. Push up, step in, step out. So when you move, again, hips are still. If they are rolling, 
and you're on your toes, come down to your knees, more important that you're keeping them stable and moving side to side with control. where the focus is, maybe you want to work on the tricep and the row without on your, being on your toes. Here we go. And if you're not using weight and you do feel in control, and you are on your toes or on your knees, try and move a little bit quicker. So your body has to react to quickly change in position. Okay, 20 seconds to go. Go team, go team. Shoulders squared, abs on, hips still, keep fighting, kick back strongly, 10 seconds. Go, go, go. Strong back, strong shoulders, strong triceps. Last two, last one, and relax. Okay, onto your front. Okay, my challenge for you this time. If it's not full range, we're going to stay in the top range and pulse. Okay? Ready? Lift up and pulse for as long as you can. See if you can make it through the whole 45 seconds. Up, up. Top range. Remember the little ones at the top? If you need to come all the way down and reset, that's okay. And go again. Hold on. Hey, you've already made it. You've got 20 seconds. Look at you go. Come on, you feel so good when you push through this. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. All right, push up time. So you've got the walking push up option. Always a bit Starting in five seconds and the upper body is done. Three, two, one, we're on. Hey, you can do this from the lane, even if you want to do the walking push up. But hey, your chest has to remain between your hands, guys. Otherwise, you're not getting that full load that we want to work shoulders and chest from. All right, 20 second countdown. Go, go. Physically strong, mentally strong. We've got seven seconds. Three, two, one. Ah, well done. All right, one minute rest. Cool, what's coming next? We've got some rocking hoppers, rolling planks from our forearms. We've got some sea crunch shootouts. So I'm going to show you the rolling hopper first. So from knees or toes, roll onto our side, reset to go the other way. Sea crunch shootout, reach to your toes, knees come in, and then we shoot out. Crunch in, shoot out, and then we've got some hover taps. Okay, so back, we roll straight back over, right here. We're walking out, 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 out. Okay? Oh, suck in the air. We've got 15 seconds. Take it up. Hold the position, arms like railway tracks. Okay, so sit the elbows underneath the shoulders. Ready? Five seconds. Start from the knees. See how you go. Three, two, one. So roll onto the sides of the leg and foot. Lift up into the middle, square into the shoulders. Roll to the other side. Stack your hips and shoulders. Reset. So your body moves as one. Yeah, it's like a barrel, rolling. Can't leave like one bit behind. So toes, as you can see, I'm rolling from my toes to the edge of my feet. 
Last round, last round. We've got this. I'm going to add one more thing on to that hover, the rolling hover. We can do a leg lift at the same time. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. So we roll, lift the leg. Roll back. Other way, we try to lift the leg. Just make sure when the leg lifts that the hips don't drop, okay? You can do this from your knee as well. You can lift the leg. See how that feels for you. When you're lifting the leg, you're also getting some side body work. Always good. How I love the song. It's called Worth It All. Definitely at this moment, when things are really tough, you know it's all going to be okay. It's all worth it. Stop. That one's done. Alright, shoot out, shoot out. And four, three, two, high energy, let's go. Let's go. Bit of speed this time. You guys know what to do. You don't want to focus on, so just do it. Twenty-five seconds. Come on, fifteen seconds. Make this feel incredible. Five. Only five inch worms. 
Remember the next one is a burpee. Whatever burpee you choose, five of those. Once you've done five burpees, you have five mountain climbers each side. And then five plank jacks. Cool. How are we doing? How are we doing? Then we go four of each. Go, go, four of each. Jump up, four inch work, four burpee, four mountain climber each leg, four plank jacks. All right, listen up though. Your first minute is nearly done. First minute nearly done right now. Okay, you should let's be on the fours now. On the fours now. Quick movements, abs strong, quick, quick, quick. Okay, so you've got the exercises in your head. How can you make them quicker? Okay, walk the hands faster. Pull back, stand, go. Okay, the burpees, shoot the legs out quickly. Or you can walk the legs out. Remember, this is not for you today. Walk them out and in. Mountain climbers, drive those knees in as quick as you can. And then the plank jacks, man, you've got to brace your abs really hard and shoot the legs out and in. Okay? All right. <laughs> minute two. 15 seconds left for minute two. Are you done yet? You're so close, aren't you? Here we go. Minute two is complete. One more minute. One more minute. You're still going, keep pushing, keep pushing. Big cardio kick for the end, okay? Big cardio kick. You're gonna feel incredible after this and be so proud of your efforts, right? Don't give in, don't give in. You still have 45 seconds to get this done. Have you finished? Are you lying on the floor dead? <laughs> Did you push hard? Yeah? All right, you got 30 seconds. And we're all gonna push on the stretch together, okay? Ha oh, ha, I'm gonna give you 20 seconds. Fight through it. You're still going. You got this, okay? And seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. So we've got lots of strength stuff, we've got lots of cardio stuff. So now we need to calm everything down and do some stretches, all right? If you've got a bench or a seat, come and take a seat with me. Let's grab an ankle, knee out, and then you're gonna tip forward. Really good one for the hip and the butt. It's a really good one to do while you're watching TV when the ad breaks. Definitely pushing the knee down. Sit up. Take the opposite hand to that leg. Cross it over, other hand behind. Turn your chest. Release your back. And again, your back arm reach over. That's going to give you a side stretch. Cool, well done. Let's do the other side. Hey, you can do this on the floor if you don't have a bench. Do it here, sitting up nice and tall. Press the knee outwards. If you're on your seat, you're tipping forward. And then if you are seated, cut off the game. Here we go. Let's get that twist going. So you've got your twist and your reach over. So you can either use your chair for a hamstring stretch to tip over on the floor. So bending the stance of the legs, tipping over. Draw the toes towards you, lengthening the back of the leg, right? And change sides. The 
With a heart rate, you should have come down nicely now. Now it's time to go and hydrate and they get some food into you. It's really important that you refuel your um, with carbohydrates, with good fats, with protein. I know your body's craving that right now. Quadricep stretch, yeah, take up your foot, knees together. Push those short workouts, eh? Push hard and before you know it, you've done it. Come other side. And we just do a quick upper body release to do a chest stretch, the calf hands behind. Lift your chest up really high. And then reverse it by tucking your chin and pulling forward. Yourselves. Feel free to jump back on this one and do it later on in the week. Well done. See ya.